Hello, this is uh, John from Poor Man's Garage. Um, can't leave you guys hanging, so I'm gonna let's find out together if all this new bearings that I put in the snowblower actually work. Uh, I haven't tested it. I just uh, figured we'll find out together. And I'm also gonna show you how I put on the snowblower. Um, I don't really see too many videos on them explaining exactly what you gotta do. So I'm gonna show you. Anyways. So, I <clears throat> my glasses on here so I can, I can see distance, I can't see close up, so. Oh, there I go, all right. All right, so. This is, a, this is how you attach the snowboard to the tractor. Um, it's this, this is, a, I think they call this the drive shaft hanger, and that's just what it does, it hangs the drive shaft. So, I'm gonna get my hands greasy, I have a feel. So you want, what you wanna do is you wanna put this in this position, just like that. So it's pretty straight, just just like that. And you want to take this and you want to flip this up like that. All right, that's how I do it. And then these locks have to be locked in the back position. All right. See that they kind of lock into. The, there's a slot here they lock into. These have to be back and in the lock position and you turn them to lock them in. So both this side and this side both have to be back and in the lock position. Um, the, the hoses is okay just like this is okay. That won't be affected by it. Now let's see if I can figure this thing out. See if I give you guys a good view on how to attach this thing if I can remember how to start the tractor. All right, let's see, uh, you guys got a good view there? Uh, I think it's a pretty good view, right? Yeah. I think so, All right? Yeah. You guys can see that. All right, let's try to remember how to start this thing. some gloves on because uh, grabbing a hold of that drive shaft uh, it's going to be grease. Guaranteed. <clears throat> so, get some So you got to make sure the locking collar is back on the drive shaft. Locking collar has got to be back on the drive shaft. Push it in. That locks it. Simple. Simple. Piece of cake. Let's see if I can. Alright, so. 
The other thing too is you gotta remember the drive shaft hanger. <laughs> this is the drive shaft hanger. You gotta get the drive shaft hanger out of the way, or else you turn on the PTO and you're not gonna have a drive shaft hanger left. So I just get, kind of push it down and slide it out of the way, like that. Slide. That's where it's gonna stay for uh, till you take it off. All right. So let's get you back in the position here where you can see the hydraulic lines, maybe. Something like that, maybe. Yeah, I should push a little closer here. Something like that, maybe. What I do is I, I just take the lines and I route them through this bar. This, I don't know if that's what I guys do, but I run through the bar. And then I roll them underneath here, the loop, and I put it up here. And I, I like it. Yeah, I put it up here for now. You put it from the top and then roll them down. So th these caps won't come off until you push in on the outside coupling. Then it'll pop off. You can't get it off unless you push on the outside coupling. Yellow. Gotta pull the coupling back to get the caps off. And this, this cap comes off, this cap comes off, the color. Uh, hopefully the color coordinated so you know which one goes where. You know, if it's missing it, then you gotta go get some caps because you don't know where they go. So then you put, to put this on, you got to pull back on the coupling all the way, push on. Then I just take the caps and I put them together. Same thing here. Got to pull, pull back on the coupling all the way. Sometimes they're a little, a little tough. Like that. And then put these together. And that's really what it was. And I, I lubricate these couplings. I do. Uh, I, I like everything lubricated. I don't like anything dry. Um, but then you're, you, know, you got to deal with this. <laughs> that's why I tell you, you got to wear a rubber gloves. All right. So. Uh, so yeah. Then I just. Kind of look at the lines and see they're kind of bunched up here. All I'll do is pull them back this way a little bit. So that's, that's, that's all I do. All right, let's see if this thing's going to actually work. Let's just check this out together. All right, here we go. Let's see if uh, I, I tell you it was so loud before you couldn't be in the room with this thing. It was that bad. It was it was horrendous. <laughs> it was it was crazy. All right.
Well, it's obvious that it's fixed. It was just, it's still pretty loud, but it ain't nothing like it was. It was like, you pulled that PTO, I pressed it in right away because it was so loud. It, 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 my ears were ringing. <laughs> it was crazy. So anyways, uh, obviously the bearings are fixed. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about this cozy cab. It's raining outside, so I, maybe I can give you a glimpse of it. Um, anyways, so the cozy cab, uh, you can buy it directly from cozy. Uh, so most people probably go to the John Deere dealer and say, I'd like a cozy cab for my John Deere. And they're probably getting it for $4,500 or maybe less. And they probably add on $2,000 because they got to make money too. And they sell it back to you for $6,500 plus tax. So I'll show you the paperwork on the Cozy Cab and you can buy it directly from Cozy. Uh, they're in Minnesota. I think shipping was like $760. So if you went down and picked it up, if you're out of state, I don't think you have to pay tax. I'm not sure how it goes, um, but you'd probably save. That's if you're close. I'm not close. I'm in New York. That's Anyway, oh, the other thing too is when, when the cab comes in, the, the, the box is 54 inches wide and according to the sheet it was six, 600 pounds but I don't think it's I think it's like 400 pounds but it's 54 inches wide and probably 70 something inches long you have to when you call it cozy you got to get the dimensions of the box get the weight of the box remember this thing's going to come on a tractor trailer so if you don't have a way to get it off the tractor trailer they're not going to be happy with you believe me when I tell you it's just going to come on a tractor trailer the truck driver is going to want this thing. He's going to call you an hour before he's, he's close, an hour before he gets there. He's going to say, I'm on my way. He's going to want this thing off his truck. If you can't get it off, they're going to they're going to probably bring it back. But I don't know. So wherever you wherever you get this thing off, you got to have a forklift. I had it sent to my buddy's machine shop. He had a forklift. Just slipped it off the tractor trailer. Tractor trailer went on his way. Dropped it on my trailer. Just so my trailer is 54 and a half inches wide. So they had a good quarter inch on each side. And it just fit too, just fit. Actually, I had to pull the edges on the trailer open a little bit as he put it in, because it was catching on the wood. That's how close it was. Um, anyways, let me show you the paperwork so you know exactly how much it costs. And it's with tax and shipping. So. Here, here it is. All right. So this is the this is the shipper. That's, you know. So this is a, this is Cozy Cab. It's made by Custom Products. Makes Custom Products makes Cozy Cab. So Cozy Cab for John Deere. Uh, this is the guy's name, Dave. This is his direct phone number. This is the part number for an X700. You know, anything that's a 700, that would be at A12098 with glass. This is what the price is on this is $4,372. I know you're probably, you're probably like, wow, I can't believe it's that cheap. People are want $7,000 on uh, on uh, Facebook Marketplace for a used one. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, that's because the John Deere dealer probably charged them $8,000 to put it on their John Deere. So I, I got the uh, heater. One, I won't need a heater. The heater's $360. I got the quick disconnect for the heater. That's $103. $91 for a fan. The fan is circulate inside the cab. So out the door with shipping and everything else and tax and blah, blah, blah. It's $5,629.67. U.S. funds. That's how much it is. So I, I don't think I can... Yeah, so anyways, maybe I can. Uh, so there's the. That's how it comes. It comes to fully uh, assemble, which I'm kind of surprised it comes fully assembled. But uh, that's the cozy cab. It's underneath the tarp because it's raining. I figured it was gonna. That's my luck. So I put a tarp on top of the box. So anyways, that's that's the cozy cab. So now, uh, so now you know the story on that. So, you know, unless you guys really just want to pay an extra $2,000, you 
I mean, it can't be that hard to install. It's a it's a box with a lid. A couple of wires, a couple of heater hoses. Yeah, I mean, you know, unless unless you're really not mechanically inclined at all, then you're going to have to have the John Deere people install it for you. Or, you know, find somebody that is mechanically inclined and give them a couple hundred dollars or five hundred dollars to put the guys. I think you still be way ahead. But hey, it's, you know, it's your money. You do what you want to do. I know that I bought it direct, um, and uh, I'm going to put it on myself. No big deal. It's, it's already assembled. I didn't even think it came assembled. I thought it was going to be in pieces. The thing's practically assembled on the trailer. All you got to do is lift it off the trailer, put it on your tractor. Maybe a little bit more than that, but it comes with directions. You know, you read the directions first before you do anything a couple of times, and then uh, you'll go from there. Anyways. Uh, I think everything worked out great. Poor man's garage. I'll see you soon.